think we are going live. Hi friends, this is Lindsay with So Fancy. How you doing today? Um, give me just a second, I'm going to set up the comments here. All right, so how's everybody doing today? How's your day so far? I hope that it's fabulous. Um, we are back with another video dishing out more tips, tricks, and uh, um, hacks for getting the most out of your uh, supplies. So today we're talking Glitter HTV and we'll be showing you just how to um, use your um, scraps of HCV if you get a little too like happy like I do when I just weed it and I rip it right off and then uh, um, I realize hmm I'm, I might have been able to to save this and um, we are using a beautiful design from the uh, July bundle. So um, July 2nd, um, we have a new bundle, new designs, um, over 100, uh, 14 fonts. Um, it's really fun, so definitely check it out, and I have it linked in the description of the video. Um, so uh, I will go ahead and switch the camera, and we'll get started. Okay. So I've been crafting, and I've been using... Um, my glitter HTV and you can see I've just we I've already weeded these pieces but um, there's lots of uh, extra left over like with this piece um, you know there's some here on the side and there's some you know in the middle here and like this piece too and then this one I'm really embarrassed about <laughs> I use this for a project and I definitely could have cut it better this part in here is all still you know, usable material, um, but I have already ripped it off the carrier sheet. So you know with like a, um, a regular piece of glitter HTV, you know, it comes with the carrier sheet, um, and then you weed it off. And that's what I've done with these pieces, but I still wanna be able to use these, and you totally can. Um, and, what you'll want to do, um, I'll show you a couple different ways how you can still um, cut these and um, use them for your projects too. So um, the first thing that you'd want to do is um, cut off the little extra pieces that like this unusable spot here. And you can use scissors. Um, I li like to use a paper trimmer. And you just cut it down till you have just like a nice piece of HTV to use. This I'd probably just cut out by hand. Um, and then if you have saved your carrier sheet from a previous project, like when you pressed your HTV or you, um, you know, you're done with a project and you saved these, um, then what you can do is actually just reattach it. So it's sticky on one side and you would just reattach it on there. Just like that. And then you would put it on your mat and cut it. Now if you don't have your, let's say you have a piece of um, glitter HTV, but you don't have a um, carrier sheet. Well, you can actually purchase them. They're called um, heat transfer or yeah, heat resistant um, transfer tape. Um, so they come in, you know, big um, squares, like sometimes um, 12 by 24 or 12 by 12, like this one. And it's basically just like a transfer sheet or a carrier sheet from HTV. Um, so you could always get something like this and attach it to there and cut it just like you would um, a regular piece um, with the um, with that shiny carrier sh sheet um, down. Um, but if you don't have anything like that at all, you actually can just put the actual scrap on to a sticky mat. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. 
Um, the difference with this, and this is important, is that you're actually going to cut it with the glitter side facing up. So I am going to put that on here. Now, th remember, this has no carrier sheet. This was an extra piece that um, I weeded off um, so enthusiastically that I didn't even realize that, hey, this was still, sorry, my, my cord's in the way. Um, I didn't even realize that, hey, this is still a usable piece of material, and I still want to be able to get the most out of it, because y'all know that this isn't, this isn't cheap, so we want to be able to get the most out of our supply. So I have it um, just stuck onto our mat here, and then because we are cutting it um, with the right side up, um, you would not mirror in this case. So um, in Silhouette Studio, I would just not flip horizontally. And as for the cut settings, um, I did have to do some test cutting with this. Um, and what I did is I just used the same heat transfer glitter settings and then I just increased the blade to four. And then I always do two passes and send. All right, so that's gonna go ahead and cut and then we can come on back there. Hi! So if you're just joining us, we are working with the July Bundle, um, and we are working with scraps of HTV. So, um, you know, maybe you are in a bind and you have an order that's due tomorrow, and you realize, oh shoot, I don't have any more of that, that glitter HTV I just used, but you still have a little piece that you weeded off, um, then you can still actually use that. So. Let's go back to our uh, machine here. And so now this is if um, you don't have the carrier sheet. And it should actually just weed like normal. You know, you just pull it off like that. All right, look at that. And then actually we want to pull the middle out too here and here okay all right so then um as for transferring it to your project um i was actually able to use a piece of um transfer material you know to to stick it down and then pull it back up that was on a mat that was not very sticky anymore um, and if you're cutting like this because you don't have any of this transfer material then obviously you wouldn't be able to use it so in this case you do have to actually lift these pieces up and then just place them on your project which you know may seem a little bit fiddly. So like this type of project, you know, obviously you wouldn't need to do this for every single thing, but you know, if you want to use all of your scraps, and this is definitely the way to be able to do that. And or if like um, you run out of a, a color and Michaels is closed and your order is due tomorrow or your project is due tomorrow then this is a way that you can rummage through your trash, which I know as crafters we all have, <laughs> to find that little piece of weeded um, HTV that um, we threw away but then realized, hey, we can actually still use that. Um, and of course, if you have, uh, if you have saved your carrier sheet, then, uh, and which I re recommend that you do because I actually, have found that they're um, pretty helpful. This one is actually from regular Easy Weed, and it doesn't stick as well as the glitter one. 
So I'm going to go ahead and attach that to here. And you just stick it back down with um, that glitter sh side um, facing down. And then you'd put it back onto your mat here. Oops, this is a really sticky mat, so, which is good. You want that. It's just caught me off guard there for a second. And then let's not lose this. So I'm just gonna push that off to the side. And then you would just cut it like normal. Back into your machine. Let me go back into Silhouette Studio. And this, of course, because we are cutting it like we normally would, we do go ahead and mirror. And oops, that's my um, Easy Press my mini saying, hey, don't forget about me. So I'm gonna click that back on. And then this, of course, should weed nicely, too. Oops, the dot of the eye did get a little stuck. So it might weed a little bit differently than you're used to because we've already taken it off the carrier sheet and then put it back on. So there we go. So I just had to pull out that middle uh, or that little dot in the eye. But remember, this is mirrored, so we will go ahead and keep it on the carrier sheet and then transfer it over to our project. So you can just pull that up there. And then I actually have a couple of pieces that I need to weed for our project. So what we're doing is we're doing these bows. Um, so let me actually take it off of here. Um, this bow I got at the craft store, um, but I have linked to um, a hair bow that you can get on Amazon. So like this one is a, what is it, goss grain? Or yeah, this one says 100% polyester um, ribbon. And you can press um, HGV to this. And so that's really cute to, um, you know to personalize and so I'm using my little mini press with this and the design that I'm using is this little girl big attitude which I think is just so adorable I love these bows and what I'm gonna do with this one is um, I'll just attach it myself to a ponytail holder and if you're super crafty you can actually buy three and a half or you know three inch wide ribbon and make these so um, but it was just you know it was already together at the craft store so I could you know just attach that on like this um, but anyway um, you'll just need your some sort of you know heat protective surface um, because this is not heat protective and it will warp but then what you do is here is this big that we did earlier. So I'll put that here. And I managed to keep all the pieces. Which I'm really proud of. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll stick little pieces like this to a sticky note. I have the sticky notes that are completely adhesive, like they have the adhesive on the entire back, so um, I can stick them to it. And there we go. So if you didn't have the carrier sheet, then um, you could press it just, you would have to arrange it just like that. But you would need to put some sort of like Teflon sheet or um, a piece of parchment paper over the top 
because um, you don't want to press directly onto the HGV. Um, but because I do have my carrier sheet, I'm going to use the other half of this. Actually, I'll use this this one. I see, so I keep all of them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll just put this print out under here and align the, uh, oops, actually we'd want to do it backwards, huh? Right? No, no, we wouldn't. Oh, okay. Line it here. That way I know that it's getting lined up perfectly. So if you are just joining us and you're wondering what the heck we're doing, um, we are using our HTV glitter scraps to cut out this gorgeous, cute little little girl, big attitude uh, eight, or, uh, SVG for these hair bows, which are so cute. And I want to wear one, but I think I think I'm too old. I think I've passed the age of being able to wear a huge bow in my hair. But it's so cute. Okay, so then um, you've got that all arranged, and then you would just take um, the carrier sheet and press that down to pick it up, and then transfer it to your project. So let's say I want them right there. So let's put it here. And then just for some added protection, I'm going to put the parchment over it like that and press it onto here. And I have this setting at the second setting. This thing, and this thing gets really hot too, so it does very well. Okay. And then, there we go. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love it. And then for the other pieces, um, I cut those out of different colors. Um, but we'll do the girl next so you can see that. So this one I cut right off of the, um, I it was a, just a scrap that I had already weeded. Um, but then I just adhered it back onto a carrier sheet that I saved and then just cut it um, like you normally would. So let's put it here. I like that. And I'll put this on, go back over it with my mini press. Um, I have it on the second, there's like a high, or like a high, medium, and low, and I have it on medium, which is still pretty hot. And then this is just a piece of parchment paper. And then I'm going to pull that off. All right, so there is that. And then... If you want to stick around, I can finish this. I cut these pieces out of pink, um, but I haven't weeded them yet. So, I'll just get my mat and I'll do that really fast. And here's my weeding hook. All right, so um, these come from the July bundle. Um, new month already. I mean, can you believe that? New month, new bundle. Um, uh, you know, over a hundred SCG designs. Fourteen fonts, um, which means lots of crafting, lots of different um, projects you can make. Um, as if you're just a crafter or if you like to sell you know little things on Etsy um, 
then these are um, bundles. Um, actually, all of our designs come with um, the So Fancy commercial use license. So you can, you know, make little bows and things like this. Girl attitude? No. Big attitude. Um, so with this commercial use license is that you can use it. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, so you can use that, use our designs um, that you purchase in our bundles for, you know, little, you know, little projects and things that you can sell at craft fairs or on Etsy or for your customers um, with the commercial use license, which I think is really cool because um, sometimes you have to purchase that separately. Um, but with so fancy, you do not. It is it is included. All right, so there's that. And then this one is the little. Um, this is just Caesar Easy Weed. Um, cut with my Silhouette Cameo 4. And I am pressing it onto just, um, this is a bow uh, that just has this on the back, but I'm going to attach it to a ponytail holder. So I actually linked to um, a bow that already has a ponytail holder attached, um, so you wouldn't have to do that. But this one I got at the craft store, and it didn't have... Um, they didn't have any that had the ponyo already attached, so I just said, I'll do it myself. Little girl, big attitude. That is just so cute. And then, of course, if you are super duper crafty, then you could always buy, you know, three inch wide ribbon and do this yourself, which I think is just super awesome if you can do this. Um, does that look okay? Let's see. I think I want it a little bit closer. I actually always print out these, the design itself, so that I can see what it looks like. Obviously, you know, I could arrange this however I want, but I kind of like how it was arranged in the original SVG. Um, yeah, that looks good. Okay, and we say SVGs, but many of these files, you know, come with like a PNG and a JPEG or a DXF file. Um, so, you know, we say SVG, but many, if not all of the files come in different formats too. And that's all included in the bundle. And then we just peel that off and that is just so gosh darn cute I think I'll go in later and add uh, some stars I might cut some little stars out of either the glitter or this chrome um, I'll do either of those um, because it's just so cute I totally love it I'm gonna switch back to the other camera view so hi, Lindsay was so fancy. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we have been using our glitter HTV scraps to create this adorable bow, this hair bow, and um, using our scraps. So even if you've already weeded a piece of glitter HTV, um, you can still totally reuse part of that um, with or without the carrier sheet so um, you can get the most out of your supplies and this design comes from the July bundle did I say June bundle earlier I'm sorry if I did it's July it's it's July <laughs> so um, check that out I have it linked in the description of the video and um, also with um, where you can get um, a bow like this too if you um, want to make this adorable little bow. I just think it's so cute. I just can't get over it. So anyway, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you next time. Bye!